Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find this limit, limit when x approach to 0 of sine of 3x over sine of 2x. If you plug 0 in for this axis, you're going to end up with a form like this, 0 over 0, which we call undefined form because we, can, we cannot do anything. So what you want to do, you want to use this special trigonometric limit to find the answer for our problem. So let's see how we do that. So I copy again this limit. And now I'm going to do a multiplication. And you will see in a moment what I'm going to do here. So the first thing we notice is sign of 3x. So I have to have a 3x down here, which you notice now, times, and then I see that sine of 2x. So I'm going to have to have a 2x here. And now, because I multiply by these 3x and these 2x, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 2x over 3x, which is 3x over 2x, right? So if you simplify these axes now, you go back to the original problem. Uh, but we don't want to do that. So now what can we do? It's, we can use uh, the property of limits. And we're going to break this prod, limit of a product in products of limits. So we have limit on x approach to 0 of sine of 3x over 3x times limit when x approach to 0 of 2x over sine of 2x times limit when x approach to 0 of 3x over 2x. And the first limit is 1 because you look exactly like this. The only difference we have 3x and 3x, but that's fine. The second one is also 1 is the reciprocal of this limit. And the reciprocal of 1 will be 1. And the last one, if we cancel out the x, which we can do, we end up only with 3 over 2. So the final answer for our problem is 3 over 2. So the limit when x approach to 0 of sine of 3x over sine of 2x is 3 over 2. You can see that also in this uh, graph. This is the graph of sine of 3x over sine of 2x. And we notice here we have a hole here, the undefined form. Yeah. It's, that's what's going to happen there. And then we notice when x is getting closer to 0, the function is getting closer to 3 halves. When x is getting closer to 0 from the right side, we have the same type of behavior. Of course, if you, you can use a numerical approach, be sure your calculator, by the way, is in radians and go closer to zero and you're going to see that three half. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more help. Thank you.